going to get out of here? Oh, man. I can't believe I fell. How am I going to get out of here? Miss Mary. Miss Mary. Bernie? Yeah, Miss Mary. Bernie, down here. Down here. Where? Wait, look down here in this hole. Look. Oh, how'd you get down there? Oh, I was walking around and I fell. I fell through the hole up there. Are oh, you hurt? No. I'm okay. I landed okay, but... You know, if this lion was real, it would remind me of a Bible story. What Bible story? Oh, well, there's a Bible story about a guy named Daniel. Do you remember hearing about Daniel in our moment with Miss Mary? Oh, you mean on YouTube? Yeah, that yeah. one. We were talking last week about Belshazzar and how he lost his kingdom, and, and a new king was there. Well, the new king... He still used Daniel as one of his wise men. But the other wise men, they were very jealous. The other officials, they were very jealous. And they were scheming and they were plotting. They wanted to get rid of Daniel. So they decided that they were going to do something. And they tried and tried, but they couldn't find anything. So finally they said, unless we do something that has to do with his God, we're not going to get him. So they tricked the king. They went to see the king and they said to him, Oh, king, you are so wonderful. We should make a new rule that for 30 days, nobody can pray to anybody but you. And the king, he was like, Oh, that's a good, that's a good idea. Wait, I, wait, but are we supposed to pray to God? Yes, but these bad officials, they didn't want to. They wanted to pray to the king so that they could trick Daniel. That wasn't very good. So you know what happened? No. Well, they got Darius to make the law. And those laws could not be changed. So they made the law. For 30 days, nobody can worship anybody but the king. Nobody can pray to anybody but the king. That's terrible. Yes. Guess what Daniel did? What? Daniel went home and continued praying to God just like he normally did. And the officials, they were watching. They were watching to see what happened. And they went and they ran to the king. And they said, king, guess what we saw? Guess what we saw? Wait, they tattled? They did. They tattled. They ran all the way there and they said, Daniel, that guy that, that helps you, he's home praying to his God. You made that law, king, and he's not following it. No. Well, Darius the king was very upset and he was like hmm how can I get this to go away how can I save Daniel hmm and he thought all day and all night and you know what he couldn't find a solution he said I can't do anything Daniel has to go to the lion's den so they went and they got Daniel and they took him and they threw him in the lion's den but before they did that the king said, Daniel, may your God, who you serve continually, rescue you. It's like you're falling in a hole. Yeah, sort of, but I, I don't have any real lions down here. But Daniel stayed all night. They closed the lid, and he stayed all night in the lion's den. And the king didn't sleep too good. He got up, and he, in the morning he ran to the lion's den. Daniel, Daniel, servant of the living God. Did your God rescue you? That's what he wanted to know. And Daniel, do you think Daniel said something? What do you think Daniel said? Do you think he said something? He did. He said, oh, king, live forever. My God, my God. He sent his angel and he shut the lion's mouth. <gasps> wow. God did that. And the king, he was so happy. He brought Daniel out of the lion's den and he said to everybody, everyone must serve and fear the most high God, the God of Daniel. Wait a second. I just remember we have to get you out of there. Yeah, uh, yeah that would be a good idea. Yeah, I will remember in our Bible story, but we got to get me out of this hole. I know, I'll get a rope. Okay, I'll, I'll see be you then. right back. Don't, don't forget me. I won't. Okay, okay. Hmm, you know, that story kind of reminds me that I need to be like Daniel. You know, I need to be strong and to stand for God. 
you know, sort of like these rocks are hard and they're like cement. They're really hard and they don't move. I need my faith to be like that. I need to stand for God and to have faith in him. I need to pray no matter what, whether I'm home or at school or at church or at the restaurant having dinner. I need to always pray and be strong in my faith in what I believe about God. I need to stand strong always. That's a really good thing. I, I really got to do remember that. I really got to do Mary. that. Brady! I got the rope. You found the rope for me? Yes. Wait, I can't hear you too well. Where are you? I'm up here. Okay. Uh, I, I can't see it. I can't see it. Oh, 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 here it is. I got it. Okay, are you going to be strong enough to pull me up? Get some friends. Okay. One, two, three. Oh. Wow, that is a big hole. It sure is. Oh, boy. Good thing we brought this cement. We're going to have to get some water and mix it up, and it'll be nice and strong, and we'll patch up that hole. What do you think? I think it's a great idea. I'll yeah. get some shovels. Okay, we'll get some shovels, but you know when this is really strong, it reminds us about Daniel and his faith. Always be strong. Keep your faith as strong as Daniel's. As strong as Daniel's. Got it. Okay, let's go get those shovels. Let's do it. Okay.